Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Drive MX-5. And today we are going to install this little airbag overlay from MX-5 Things. Now this one here is just a silhouette of the soft top. It's a little cosmetic mod and it goes right in here instead of having that airbag warning light. This is going to be a simple procedure. We're going to start by removing this plastic trim piece right here. It's got a couple clips. You just pull it straight forward towards you. So first step, I'm going to put my thumbs kind of here on the side, loosen it up both there and there and then you can get behind it and just pull straight towards you see how you have these red plastic clips these are what actually clip into the car down here now you'll notice that there are a couple Phillips head screws one on this side and then one on this side we gotta go ahead and remove those to get this piece out and install the silhouette there And once you've pulled this part forward, there is a little tab at the back. That's the power for the lights here and the heated seat switches. Just push the tab down at the top and then this harness should remove freely. There we go. So now that we're looking at the back side here of this panel, you'll notice that there are two T10 Torx bits or bolts, one right here and then one right over here as well. We gotta remove these to get this plastic cover off and then the airbag silhouette will go inside of there. So there's a couple tabs here that you pull to uh, release the cover. Using a small screwdriver bit might be helpful as well. After some uh, finagling, we finally got this part out. So pull this white tab here back. And we should be able to just pop this one out of place. So this is what normally shows that the passenger airbag and stuff is on. So we're going to go ahead and replace it with our new overlay. Just snap that into place right there. So now we can see what that looks like. Just a nice little touch of design here for the interior. We'll snap this control piece back into place. Make sure you've got it in the right orientation. Looks like it has some tabs here so you can't mess it up. But we want to be careful anyway. All right, now that we got the overlay in place, we need to go ahead and put those little tiny torque screws back in the back here. Don't forget this step. And these don't have to be tightened too much. Just finger tight should be good. That's pretty much how they were put into place. So we'll do the same when reinstalling. We would not want to risk damaging the plastic here. All right, now that that's in place, we can go ahead and plug this piece back into the connector here on the dash. There we go. And then line it up with the screw holes just like that and then we will use the screwdriver actually to tighten these up remember not to over tighten them don't want to risk breaking anything And then before we put this trim panel on, let's go ahead, turn the car on, see if it lights up. There we go, it's got a nice little glow from behind there because of the passenger airbag lights. This might be able to be taken out if you don't want the lights on at all, but I don't think it looks too bad. It's orange, which of course matches the motif of this car. So I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and pop this panel back on. And that is a job well done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and comment and subscribe to the channel. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.